In science fiction, uplift is a developmental process to transform a certain species of animals into more intelligent beings by other, already intelligent beings. This is usually accomplished by cultural, technological, or evolutional interventions like genetic engineering but any fictional or real process can be used. The earliest appearance of the concept is in H. G. Wells' 1896 novel The Island of Dr. Moreau, and more recently appears in David Brin's Uplift series and other science fiction works. History of the concept The concept can be traced to H. G. Wells' novel The Island of Dr. Moreau 1896, in which the titular scientist transforms animals into horrifying parodies of humans through surgery and psychological torment. The resulting animal people obsessively recite the law, a series of prohibitions against reversion to animal behaviors, with the haunting refrain of, "'Are we not men?' Wells' novel reflects Victorian concerns about vivisection and of the power of unrestrained scientific experimentation to do terrible harm. Other early literary examples can be found in the following works L. Sprague de Camp's Johnny Black stories, beginning with The Command, about a black bear raised to human level intelligence, published in Astounding Science Fiction from 1938 to 1940. Olaf Stapledon's Sirius explores a dog with human intelligence. In Cordwainer Smith's Instrumentality of Mankind series, Under People are created from animals through unexplained technological means explicitly to be servants of humanity, and were often treated as less than slaves by the society that used them, until the laws were reformed in the story The Ballad of Lost Seamale However, Smith's characterizations of individual underpeople are frequently quite sympathetic, and one of his most memorable characters is Seamal, the cat woman who appears in The Ballad of Lost Seamal and in Australia David Brin has stated that his uplift universe was written at least in part in response to the common assumption in earlier science fiction such as Smith's work and Planet of the Apes that uplifted animals would, or even should, be treated as possessions rather than people. As a result, a significant part of the conflict in the series revolves around the differing policies of galactics and humans toward their client races. Galactic races traditionally hold their uplifted clients in a hundred millennium long indenture, during which the patrons have extensive rights and claims over clients' lives and labor power. In contrast, humans have given their uplifted dolphins and chimpanzees near equal civil rights, with a few legal and economic disabilities related to their unfinished state. A key scene in Startide Rising is a discussion between a self-aware computer the NIS, and a leading human Jillian, about how the events during their venture and hence the novel's plot relate to the morality of the galactic system of uplift. <laughs> <laughs> Uplifting in science fiction <laughs> Timeline of works Topic. Related terms and ideas Accelerated evolution. In the graphic novel Grease Monkey, Tim Eldred uses the term accelerated to describe gorillas uplifted in this fashion. Cultural uplift. Cultural uplift is distinguished from biological uplift in that it does not physically alter the organism. A real cultural uplift experiment started with bonobos in 2005 in the Great Ape Trust in Iowa, USA. Forced evolution. In her Canopus in Argos series, Doris Lessing uses the term forced evolution to encompass the conscious influencing of both biology and culture. Progressor evolution. Boris and Arkady Strugatsky coined the term progressor for those who carry out this sort of work. Sergei Lukyanenko also used it in two of his novels. Provolution. Orion's arm uses the term provolution, proactive or progressive evolution, to describe the act of accelerating evolution. A species which has had its evolution accelerated is called a provolve. Raelian uplift. Several UFO cults, including Raelianism, believe that humanity was biologically uplifted in the past or will be uplifted in the future. The Urantia book claims Adam and Eve were beings whose job it was to biologically uplift humanity. See also Animal cognition Eugenics Intelligence amplification Talking animal Transhumanism